What's up guys, welcome back, it's your boy Mondo. Today is finally the day, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I've been a little under the weather lately. But today is finally the day uh, we actually cam Javi's car. So for you guys that don't know Javi, he is my editor. <clears throat> he has a C7 Corvette, it's an 8-speed automatic. Uh, so he got, a, he got the RPM cam package and that's what we'll be installing today. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited because uh, this is gonna be actually one of my first uh, full-on cam swaps that I'm gonna do. Uh, everything else, it's always been done at the shop and this and that. But uh, due to time constraints, due to budget and everything, we are actually gonna be doing this out of U-Wrench. Uh, so U-Wrench is a little shop here locally that allows you to rent a dyno, uh, dyno uh, allows you to rent a lift. Uh, so that's the option we went with and uh, hopefully it goes pretty smooth but I am pretty excited to finally get his car cam uh, it's been in the talks for a long time and we finally pulled the plug on it uh, we should be um, we have to live for two days so we are gonna be hustling trying to uh, pull it off and do everything in two days so the engine is going to stay in the car, heads are going to come off, we're going to replace the bow springs. And uh, I believe if we take the radiator off and everything, it should give me enough clearance to put the, to slide the cam in. But let's hope it goes as smooth as all these guides and videos we've been seeing. So we're actually on the way to U-Wrench, uh, they open at 8, we're a little early. So I'm gonna stop and fill up. Uh, we'll give you a run on the hobby's car once more, once we get to the gas station. And uh, actually I'll probably have him take over the camera in the meanwhile, cause I'm gonna be pretty busy wrenching. So I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, we just got to U-Wrench. Car's on the lift. The boy Javi over there. So this is some of the goodies we got. Like I said, it was the RPM cam. So we got K-Tech chains, Texas speed, bell springs all the goodies so so guys so first things first we undo the battery as soon as it gets done unloading everything so let's get going so mondo just took a hot bath right now how you feel mondo pretty steamy <laughs> God, I really hope this thing doesn't fucking overflow. Yeah, that would be bad. Dude, that shit was hot. My hand is... Oh, well, you can see it. the steam coming out of it. Well, yeah, which just drove it, 10 yeah. fucking miles yeah. at fucking 70, 80. Cool and temp was probably like 180. <laughs> 200. <laughs> Not went that hot. It actually runs pretty cool. No, yeah, these, these LTs actually run pretty cool. All right. Well, I only want glass for a month. I still go last for a month. Oh, it was a chill fast month. Oh, yeah. Do you have a mop? A mop? Yeah. yeah. So, I'd say do your best with this. Um, actually, but, okay, you want to get some of the squeegee? Yeah. That might work better. Mom, they'll be making messes and shit. <laughs> making messes and shit, Mom. Maybe one or big one. Thank you. So we'll get back to it and finish clean this up.
pulling the cam out here. Fuck oh, yes, fine. Chef's actually bigger than yours, so. All right, guys. So we're going on day three on Javi's car. Uh, we ran into some little bugs, some little issues. So a lot of that was um, we were on a time constraint, so we started rushing, and obviously that's never good when it's the first time you're doing something. So we did miss a connector that goes to the oil pump, so it's uh, to relieve oil pressure. And obviously we need that plugged in because it's not good when you have too much oil pressure because you can damage stuff that way too. So we were already about to finish bolting up the, the cradle and everything underneath when I saw that the front cover wasn't on and the cover, um, the connector was undone and there was no way to get to it through the front. So we had to take all the bottom part off again and we got set back another hour and a half. Uh, the other setback was they sent the LT4 head gaskets. And uh, I don't know how some people are saying they're using the LT4 head gaskets on LT1s because the dowel pin holes on the LT4 gaskets are a lot smaller and we couldn't fit the dowel pin into the, uh, the LT1 dowel pins into the LT4 gasket. So that sent me back again. Uh, I finally got the original head gaskets and we are going to be running those again. So uh, like I said, that was another major setback. Uh, another thing I ran into was uh, I can't remember if I tightened the cam bolt. So that's a major setback because we had already put the steering rack back in. We had already put the crank back in. Uh, the crank pulley back on the front cover everything's back on so now i have to take all that off again and that was not an easy task so i am actually kicking myself in the ass right now because of that uh, 
So I stopping at Walmart to get a blowtorch to make getting that crank bolt as easy as I can. And hopefully it goes pretty smooth. Uh, but this is the last day I have to get that car done. So it is crunch time. Uh, hopefully uh, Jonathan is going to go help me today. So I will have some help. I won't be on my own. Uh, but yes, uh, I need to get that thing done. So uh, once I get to U-Wrench, uh, I'll give you guys a run through of where we were at. Um, and obviously you guys will see a lot of that on the video. But I'll be seeing you guys shortly. All right, guys. So, like I said, I took the heat to the crank bolt, came right out. So that's the least of my worries. That's out. Uh, we're about to pull it off, take the timing cover off, make sure the cam bolt is torqued, and hopefully we can start slapping the rest of it on together. So let's check it out. So I finally got the C7 wrapped up. So we ran into a lot of little issues. So the thing was neither Javi nor I have done a full cam swap from zero. Like this car came in running and we pulled everything off. So it was a huge learning experience. My downfall was when it came time to put the head studs in. Uh, when we followed the instructions, it said clean out the threads it didn't really specify we we're supposed to chase them it just said clean them out so what i did is i blew the thread hole to clean out bring all the fluids out bring all the dirt out and stuff like that what it actually meant was to chase it with a tap uh, so what happened was when we were hand tightening because uh, it does specify to hand tighten the studs and apparently it's a fairly common problem on these lts the threads tend to strip so we put the studs in, we dropped the head on and everything. As we were torquing it, I did feel one of the studs come completely loose. So I took it out, there it was, we pulled the threads. So that set me back about a week because we had to order time search, we had to order a few other tools and we ended up finding everything we needed. I did have to modify the time search a bit to go all the way down, 
Uh, I don't have any of this on video because I was already a bit frustrated uh, at myself and all that for running into these little things. So at that point, I just completely forgot about recording it. So we don't have all the tapping and drilling and cleaning up and print the wrap up of the install. But right now it's on the dyno. Uh, Car sounds great, chops great. So we did, uh, I did do my bass tune, drove it around, it's driving good. So now we are on the dyno and we need to get as much out of it as we can. Unfortunately for you guys, is since this video is already so long, uh, you will see this, uh, you, you will see me wrap up the dyno tune on part two of this build. Uh, I'm hoping there's gonna be a few more parts. Uh, this is one of the relentless cars. So this is one of the cars we're gonna be following uh, into 2022 see how far we can push it every time we do a little changes it's gonna have a video on it so i did bring up we were gonna try something new for 2022 and this is gonna be it uh, we're following the build on this c7 so uh, i believe the next step would be uh, either headers or e85 um, i'm hoping we're going with e85 next as that will give us a lot more power than just the headers alone but um if that's the case um yeah there's gonna be a few parts to this uh, other than that uh, thank you guys for stopping in and i will see you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe guys